What's going on there, buddy? We have a bull billy up in the hole. We got the clicker going. That is a massive Buddy, bait. I'd get him. That bull billy is getting smoked. All right, let's go. Move. Get him. Slow, don't run into it too much. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to SBS Outdoor Action. Appreciate y'all so much for tuning in. Finally got another flathead vid for y'all. Uh, got some real big fish in it. Uh, also, in this video, we're going to go over exactly how we use bull billies, which for y those of y'all who are new here are bullhead catfish. They're pretty much our favorite bait to use. They do not last long in a good hole. Uh, the bull billies almost always get smoked instantly. So we're going to go over exactly how we use our bull billies, the rigs, the hooks, the sinkers, the line, where to hook them. Because, like, honestly, they're they're kind of a pain to deal with. So bunch of pro tips in there. Then we also got some big fish. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Something I wanted to say, I saw in the analytics that like 85% of y'all who are watching these videos uh, aren't subscribed. So if you are watching the videos and are enjoying them, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also leave a comment. Just helps us out. It helps us grow, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. Y'all stay tuned for the videos. Okay, Doug. What you doing, boy? Well, I'm trying to feed a raking. I scared him. Scared him. He's gone? Yeah, he's scared me. Uh, he'll be back. He's just up the hill. If you don't like that light, get off. He was trying to hand feed a raking. What were we trying to hand feed a raking, buddy? Oh, I wanted to see if you wanted a gummy bear, buddy. Matter of fact, then we're all clear. That's right. Oh, shoot. Yes. He's swinging a little. He's going to punt. He's potentially going in there now. <laughs> what you doing, good buddy? I'm, uh. I'm searching for the next bull. That's going in the hole. Skinner now did himself today. We were fortunate enough to have options. That's a big bait right there, folks. <laughs> He's got to go. Well, what's the chosen one, buddy? Um, I want to take him over here first. So, we got our bait of choice. My favorite. Tip on these bull heads. Let's shine them. Every one of them is a spine. Now, makes it a hell of a lot easier for those things to get swallowed. Judas. He didn't care for that much. Okay. That's a row, though, bull billy. <laughs> That's going to get smoked. Gotta freshen them up a bit. A little CPR. We still don't have our aerator. Oh yeah. What's that pro tape you're doing there, buddy? Uh, CPR. So we're taking our aerator. We're puffing this thing up real quick, spurting them up with some oxygen. One of the best pro tips we can give you is bull billy CPR. Just pump them full of oxygen. Yeah. After clipping them uh, barbs on there, the best thing you can do is hook them up to an aerator. So the only thing I'll tell you. It's about the most durable bait you're gonna get, but you gotta make sure that that circle hook is out and exposed so when that thing gets eaten, that thing can roll through. You don't want it to foul hook. Hit hard, did he? Uh-uh. Yeah, that ought to get smoked. Oh my god. You have no line. You have, you have no line. Oh my god. <sighs> Bull Billy on there still? No. Oh, maybe. Yeah. He's on there. I don't think he's alive. Yeah, he saw the jaws of death, buddy. Twice. Well, this is the... Well, now he's coming back to life pretty good, actually. That's the bull billy that got hit. You can see he's pretty torn up in there. Um, bloodied up back here. We we're going to do some CPR on him. But uh, as you can see, he's coming back to life. So I think I'm just going to get him back in the cooler. Going to ro rotate a, a new bull billy and, and give that guy a chance to rest. Although, I don't know what he 
might need to go back up there. He's the one. That's the right ball, Billy, I think, huh, buddy? Yeah. Ow. Uh, tell the folks what you're looking for in a good bull, Billy. Yeah, there's a... Uh, oh, he's grunt. There's a couple characteristics you look for in a bull, Billy. Size is one of them. Uh, this is... The first one I showed you is honestly ideal. He's also within that ideal category. Uh, you're looking for some attitude. See, he ain't too fired up right now, but by the time I clip his barbs and uh, run a big old eight-out circle hook through his mouth, see, there he goes. He's already getting a little fired up. The, the biggest thing you want from your bull billy is a solid attitude. You want him down there just kicking up a storm wreaking havoc. We call it putting a dog on a chain. Hook him right through the mouth. Oh yeah, see oh, that? Yeah. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> That's a good bull billy. Ernie's on again. He just ate again. Oh, he's a runner. Yeah. Get him, boy. Oh yeah, I see him loading your rod up. Oh, what the did you do? Still got him. Still got him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Biggin? <laughs> Holy hell, on the surf rod. Yeah, that's, that's a biggin. <laughs> no? He's corking that. He's going at one. You're good. Just get him out of there. He ain't that big, I don't think. He's right here now. I gotta get that surf rod bending like that. Bernie's on a 12-foot shark rod. <laughs> yeah, he ain't that big, little fella. Choked. Oh no, right in the corner of my mouth. Yeah, it's corner. So which line here? Holy sh We'll probably have to cut all those. Right. That's okay. Got him out of the corner though. Yep. Well, that is by no means a big whisker billy, but for just showing up, I most certainly ain't gonna complain. Circle hook worked just the way she's supposed to. Little mini whisker billy. Get him untangled here. A little smaller and he'd be bait size. Well, unfortunately I can hold him with one hand. <laughs> Still cool ass fish though. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. There she goes. Alright boy, tell the folks what kind of spread we got going on right now. Uh, this is something that nobody I would imagine gets to see very often. Uh, I'm currently setting the drag. What we have in the water right now is a double bull billy rig. Uh, we've got a bull billy on this rod that is absolutely to the back of the chute. And we have a bull billy on this rod as well. Also in a fantastic spot. We're pretty much big job hunting right now. Usually when something meets a bull billy, it's about 30 and up. So uh, at this point, we just hold on to our bridges. Hope for another big whisker fish. Y'all stay tuned. Ain't sure if they love bull billies or they hate them, but they sure as hell get eight. I think they hate them. <laughs> Y'all let us know down below what you think. I think the reason they eat them bull billies is because they f***ing hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see bull billies down there just talking some mad oh, smack. Yeah. Down there, little man syndrome or something. They get down there, running their jaw. They're down there talking big job this, big job that, but what they don't realize is they don't know what a big job is. And they sure ain't a big job. <laughs> Honestly, in the whisker fish world, they're some of the littlest jobs you can get your paws on. Buddy? Beyond? I might be. Poichin? Uh, fair. That was weird. You don't think he's sitting there, do you? I can only imagine what a mega job is going to feel like on that rod. I've caught like 30 pounders on that rod. That looks like it came down a bit. 
you might want to check that. That thing looked like it got sucked up, and that line looks like it's... Something just looks fishy to me. He's on a big one. Alright, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Move your fingers, move your fingers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> On the surf sting. Feel better? Oh yeah, I'll make you smile. That ain't small. Oh, oh. You might want to give him a little more less drag. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Oh, it ain't bad. <laughs> he loves it. All right, I'm gonna net this fish. Circle yeah, hooks in good. the corner again. That's a good whiskey fish right there. That's sturdy. Oh. Got that one on the freaking shark rod. 12 and a half foot surf stick. 8,000 size reel. <laughs> it don't get no better than that. That thing absolutely tore me up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick up your whisker, Billy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good 25, 30. Is that the same fish I caught the other night? It very well could be. Look at that hole, right? Look at that right there. Unless that's super common on. We'll have to look at pictures. He's damn near the same size. I bet there's a bunch of them up there, but. Uh -huh. Oh, it's tearing me up. <laughs> yeah, it'll do that, boy. Pick him up. Pick up your whisker, Billy. Come on, boy. Good. Well, there he is, number two tonight for us. This one's definitely a little better than the last one. It's been a damn good day. Just dropping bobbers on steelhead this morning. Now we are doing some whisker fishing. That is pretty. Hey, y'all, do you know, we've seen this bat right there on a bunch of whisker fish it's like a lump or a horn or something y'all know anything about that let us know yeah, that looks gnarly all right got down to the rocks with him make sure we get a safe release on this big boy absolutely gobbling bull billies probably my favorite thing to do just want to make sure this fish get released safely. Don't get him off back to death now. That is a big fish. You could actually get some footage like this. Yeah, oh yeah. That looks gnarly. Alright, back in he goes. All right, buddies. First good one of the night. Ain't even been down here that long. I say even down here like maybe 20, eh, probably like 30, 40 minutes. But Bernie got a nice one. I just got mine. Absolutely piping the bull billies. Um, we're running an eight aught Gamagatsu hooks, like 65 pound braid. Just some recommendations we were told. It's been working for us lately, so we're gonna keep staying on them. Y'all stay tuned. Hug a dug. We, yeah, 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 we're on, we're on, we're on. There it goes. Oh, yes, sir. 
buddy, come on. Remember, it's a blue billy, so you don't gotta wait long. Whatever you want them. If you want to let them wait, I would hit them soon, though. He looks good. That's about pain. Uh, ain't nothing special, but you gotta start somewhere. Cook got him right where you should, though. All right, there he is. That's little one. Uh, gotta start somewhere, though, like I said. Go and get it back real quick and help me get that big job. Where do I, I know. Just uh, hold it sideways. Just hold it sideways. Just hold the phone sideways right there. Alright, we just lost the surf route, buddy. Bernie just snagged my surf route out, and the fish is still on there. Oh, so get that hook off. Get the hook off, boy. You gotta get the hook off, boy. Burn it off! Here. Put the meat on! Yeah, the fish is still on there! Woo! This fish took my rod in the water. We just fished my rod out of the water, and now Bernie's fighting this fish. Oh, that fish. It and it ain't even, it ain't even that big. That fish took my whole surf rod in the water. <laughs> what are the rods, buddy? What was that? I hooked that thing, and I felt it going. Oh. I was like, holy, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Got it. My whole surf rod just went in the water. Bernie took another setup, snagged my rod. He couldn't see it. Literally just freaking blind snag and <laughs> snagged the line. Shit. You ever seen? <laughs> and he <laughs> just caught me. other videos too. <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? All right, I'm going to net this fish for him. I go to show you how strong these fish are. That's about a... Yeah, that's about a 10 pound fish. Took my surf rod in the water. I'll show y'all him when he gets up. Not even. I'm gonna say that ain't even a big fish. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what to say. That's some of the craziest shit I think I've ever seen. Definitely the craziest thing I've ever done. You were blessed by the gods is what you were. Yes, we were. You were giving back what we stole from you. <laughs> yes, that sir. That don't happen very often. <laughs> well, the circle hook worked on that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's one pissed off fish. I was one pissed off uh, Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that by no means is the fish you would expect to yank your rod off the edge. Ain't really worth it when it comes to size, but most definitely a special fish I don't think I've ever seen. Anything like that, I told Skinner, and I said, well, at least we know he's going to be in slack water. And I think I ripped him out with the same chute that we hooked him in. I mean, just really a piece of shit. <laughs> Golly. I, uh, I'm pretty much at a loss of words for that one. I ain't really sure what to say about that. That's some crazy shit right there.